Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Coffee with the President. Today I'm joined by Dr. Hilda Spiker, Professor of Psychology and Coordinator for the Center for Teaching and Learning Excellence. She's responsible for overseeing one of the most important aspects of an Albertus Magnus College education, experiential learning. Dr. Spiker, welcome. Thank you, it's good to be here. In higher education today, we talk a lot about high impact practices and experiential learning is one of those most important practices. Maybe we could start, what is experiential learning? What does it even mean? Experiential learning means um, that really you're learning through the experience of doing. It's hands-on application, problem solving, that sort of learning. And it can occur inside or outside of the classroom. But what's an important component component of it is the reflection on that experience afterwards. And as you said, yes, it is a high impact practice, mm -hmm. which means that it leads to greater student engagement and success. It also makes them more competitive in the long run because they often build good contacts, et cetera, through this experience. When I think about an Albertus education, we are at our core a liberal arts-based institution. And when I think about what the liberal arts education represents, it's really this interdisciplinary approach to gaining the knowledge associated with different disciplines, but then, of course, applying that in real-life scenarios, real-life situations. And what better way for our students to prepare for that than to have those experiences during their years at Albertus? Absolutely. And, um, very high percentage of our students, I believe it's 80 percent, are engaged in one of those forms of experiential learning, which is internship or practicum. Mm -hmm. And other forms of experiential learning include study abroad, academic service learning or community engagement, and research, either inside the classroom again or working on a faculty person's research project. We celebrate all these forms of experiential learning at our annual Experiential Learning Day conference. Right. One of the real highlights of the year. Talk a little bit about that program that day, its origins, and just some of your reflections of, of overseeing it over the years. It grew out of two different traditions nine years ago. We had the tradition of an annual um, award ceremony for students involved in internship. And we also had an annual research symposium or poster session that actually was co-founded by myself and Dr. Companion Post. And we decided to put the two together into one day-long event. And that's what Experiential Learning Day grew out of nine years ago. What have been some of the highlights over the years? One of the things that's really nice about it is that it is inclusive of all programs, undergraduate, graduate students, and our traditional day students, our evening accelerated degree program students, as well as, of course, master's thesis students. It's been incredible how it's grown over the years. We began with about 20 presentations. And last year, we had about 36 presentations. And the last couple of years, what I found particularly exciting was an increased theme of social justice issues were addressed. What I find incredibly appealing and invaluable in, in about the, the Experiential Learning Day is that I think it's distinctive that at Albertus, even our adult students are participating in these programs. One of the other really defining elements of Experiential Learning Day is classes are actually suspended for the day so that all of our students can participate. It really shows them what the possibilities are for their future. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, students in our graduate art therapy program are seeing thesis research presented at the event. And it's very um, important for them to see what the future holds for them. When we look at the success of our students after graduation, the two most recent classes, six months out after graduation, more than 95% have either been employed full-time or pursuing further education. And if you compare that nationally, it's 80, 81%. And so the fact is, Alberta students come to a, a place where there's commitment and, and personal attention on the part of their faculty, professors, their mentors, and they're working closely together and, and, and just gaining invaluable experiences. Dr. Spiker, it's been great having you today. I'm, I'm really grateful that you made time to join me. Thank you. And this wraps up another episode of Coffee with the President. I look forward to being with you again soon. Thank you.